Hello and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad's Beer Reviews. We're going to do another beer from the guys and uh, gals at Vocation. Um, this beer was another was second release uh, from Wednesday the 20th of March and it is this one and this is Apex and this is a double IPA. This comes in at 7.6% ABV. It says so on the front, right there in the circle. Um, best before on this one is March 25. It says that on the bottom of the can there. Um, it says on the back here, a hard-hitting yet delicately balanced uh, IPA. With layers of juicy citrus, I had to double check then, I said IPA. You think it was said double IPA, wouldn't you? Could be a typo. Um, with layers of juicy citrus and a lingering bitterness that keeps you coming back for more. It says it's citrus, pine and floral. Intense flavours of sweet citrus and subtle topical undertones are supported with a floral and woody aromatics. Okay. Wrapped in a super smooth and drinkable body. Citra, talus and amarillo. So we are topped with. Um, again, I like this. I like this can art. It tells you what it's topped with across the front. Um, Citrus Talus number of double IPA. Again, very similar to the uh, Summit. It's got that wave it's got, that represents hills. Whereas that one was orange, or it was gold and um, magenta, I think it was. Deep pink magenta. This is green and gold and it fades into again into green. But if you flip it around, see there's there's the odd other well the sunset actually, other sun. Um anyway, enough waffle, let's pop it up. Let's see what we've got. Double IPA. It's been a while since we're case of this double IPA for being honest with you. A lot of the, a lot of stuff that they've done, um battle age stuff, which is great. Um a lot of pails, um stuff like that which is all very which is nice which is really nice i am um, but for me this is what they do really well ipas double ipas triple ipas and then to the stouts and the imperial stout and stuff like that the higher end stuff and i know obviously tax on beers and whatnot i understand all that tax on abv i understand all that um, and this one just sneaks under the i think it's an eight percent limit i think anyway um, but yes, what that's it, what what vocation do extremely extremely well for me. Um, beer in a glass. What have we got? We've got a one finger, one sausage finger of white head. That's the, that's slowly disappearing. Beer itself. That's again a lovely hazy orange. You're seeing it's got it. It has got a bit of a um, I'm going to say orange cordial colour to it. Um, but it does look, it looks really nice, proper juicy, proper fruity. Let's get the nose and see what we can get from the aroma. The aroma. Cheers. Funnily, I do get floral. <laughs> Etonical fruit. Citrus, zest, peel, grapefruit, I think. A little bit of sweetness there. It smells really nice. What's this saying? It was fruity and juicy. Balance of citrus, yeah. And the lingering bitterness. Don't get much bitterness on the nose, I've got to say. Definitely get floral. Right, let's go for the body and carbonation. Cheers, everybody. I'll tell you what, body-wise, that sits in the IPA range for me. It's really smooth and it's light to medium. I was expecting it to be a bit more chunky and it's not. Um, carburation, soft and really light, beautiful stuff. Yeah, beautiful, it's really light. It just dances. Delicately on your tongue by just doing it as the bubbles are popping, it's pushing everything all over the place. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Right, 
to the big old tea, shall we? Let's go. Cheers. That's really cool. <laughs> that is excellent. <laughs> That's very easy drinking. The 7.6 is it? 7.2? 7.6 is well hidden. But I expect that from vocation. That's well hidden. That's dangerous. Like you could drink that. Do you think that's a? It drinks like it's a. A five percent beer. Six percent beer. Wow. So. What have we got then? Well, it's fruity. It's got a little hint of sweetness to it. It's got a lovely dry finish. There is there is an earthy, woody undertone to this beer. And again, floral and maybe a little bit heavy. <clears throat> it's sweet, zesty and citrusy. It's a little bit of a, I'm going to say a piney bitterness to it. But there is a, there's a, there's a, you can get the floral and it's really nice, you know. I would, I, I love this. I think it's a really good beer and it's excellent. It's a crack of double IPA. It's not your usual bog standard stuff that you that you pick up. You know, it's just flooded with citrus fruit and grapefruit and and whatnot, um, tropical fruit. This has got something a little bit different about it. And it's really good that that they've gone down that road. I like this. I like this. I'm not sure what it cost me, um, but it's definitely on the website at the time recording this video. Um, so I'm gonna wrap this review up. This is Vocations Apex, double IPA. Do I like it? Yes, I do. I like that little point of difference with the floral and the woodiness. That's excellent. Uh, would I buy this again? Yes, I would. Would I recommend this beer to friends? Absolutely, I would. It is proper cool. Uh, well done, Vocation. Well done. It's just that little bit of a break from the normal double IPAs, and I like that. Um, so if you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Please put a little comment in the comments box below. We'll put a link to the vocation website as per usual. Do that for the video. Do that if you don't subscribe to this bottom corner here somewhere. And I'll see you in the next one. Stay late, stay safe. Hail the